we've been working on a game based inside a media player. You can press play on the timeline while jumping around. But where it gets interesting is that you can stop, start, jump the timeline around to solve a whole host of puzzles. Like this one, where you need to skip inside the box. We've got a lot of ideas to explore with this mechanic. I think speedrunners are going to like it too, as some levels can be skipped entirely if you know what you're doing. We've got a bunch of different characters, give hints and chat in the comments, and this will hopefully add some extra narrative to the game too. Anyway, that's Playhead by Low Tech Games. Hope you enjoyed that trailer. Hi, I'm Ali Lowe of Low Tech Games and we're back for another Kickstarter. As you just saw, it's a puzzle platformer based inside an online media player where you manipulate time with the playhead to solve puzzles. I've been working on this project on and off for years, so I had the initial idea back in like 2011, 2012. I've always been obsessed with YouTube and like time travel. I wanted to do something in that area. Drew up a few design puzzles, but never got to making it. Then in 2018, I was at a game jam and the theme was time. So I tested out this idea that I'd had for a while and it worked really well. I had a lot of fun at that jam and the prototype turned out really good. And then I just sat on it for years. Kind of chipping away at bits here and there, but then fast forward again to 2021, we got some money from the UK Games Fund that let us focus on Playhead full time and hire the amazing Lucy Holland, who'll be collaborating with Probably Edible and Fraser Knox on the music and sound. But now the project is about 80% done and we're just looking for that little bit more money to get it over the line. And that's why we came to Kickstarter. We also want to do a small physical run of Playhead for PC. This is still all placeholder box art at the moment, but you get the idea. We want to make a physical disc as a product. So just a small note on the physical edition, it will release later than the digital version. The plan is to release the digital version as a kind of early access, get all the bugs squashed, and then when we're happy with it, go gold and produce the, the physical product. That way, when you get the physical game, you'll know that it'll be the full game and you won't need to download any patches. It'll be really good for preservation purposes in the future. Plus, I know a lot of the fans do like the physical media still. We're also going to offer the game on a USB stick because a few of you have already said that you don't have a disk drive anymore. It comes in this cool frame. These will be signed and limited. We think that the Steam Deck would be an amazing place to play this game. We don't have a kit yet, but uh, we are on early pre-order. The mixture of physical buttons and the touchscreen could be the best way to play the game. In the same vein, it could come to the Switch with the same kind of control layout. We are a registered Nintendo Switch developer now. We have tried controller layouts for other consoles, but they're a bit fiddly. It's a much harder task than you think to map all the things you can do to a normal controller. We have been talking about some influencers being part of this project in the form of cameo comments in some of the levels. It's gonna be great and hopefully make the comment section feel alive and help support some cross promo between creators and our game. So far, everyone was asked has said yes, and I think it does fit thematically. It's not just shoehorned in. After the successful Kickstarter campaigns of Flea and Tapeworm, I've been a bit apprehensive about bringing a non-retro game to Kickstarter, because I know it's a completely different market. That's one of the reasons it's taken me so long to put this up. The people have shown support for this game so far, they seem to really like the idea, and I just hope that we can convert some of the audience over and then gain some new puzzle fans as well. The retro stuff isn't for everyone, and it's a nice change of pace. We're also including our accessibility tool, Dislike Tech. It's a text-to-speech plugin for Unity that we'll use to read the comment section for those who struggle reading. The planet release on PC, Mac, Linux, also Steam Deck would be great, and Switch. We'd love to publish through our consoles, but as we said, the controls are a little bit fiddly to map, so we could have those as a stretch goal, but not as the base focus of this campaign. So once again, I ask, please help us make this a reality. This is a game that I've been working on for such a long time, and I really just want to see it released and people enjoying it. So remember to rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Nah, only kidding, but please do back the project. And let's make this a reality. Thanks again. Bye.